Okay guys, so welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be doing a reptile room tour for October 2018 to show you how all of the animals have been doing since the last reptile room tour were made. And as you can probably tell already, there has been quite a lot of change, so without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. So as ever, the first reptile that we're going to be looking at is Speckles the Leopard Gecko. Now, Speckles is a Maxno Leopard Gecko, a male that I got on the 12th of February last year. And as ever, he is doing really, really well. So there isn't really anything to update you on with him. Although I am still planning on moving him into a larger setup. And I will show you where I'm going to be doing that in a sec. But I don't want to dwell on him for too long because I've got lots of other things to talk about. But before we do move on, um, let's see if he wants something to eat. Next up in the reptile room tour, we're going to be taking a look at my crested gecko, Splat. Now, Splat's actually hidden away at the minute, so I can't really show you him. I'll have to stick up a picture in a minute to show you what he looks like, if you don't know. But he is doing really well, cooling down for the winter a bit now, but I'm sort of expecting that. Um, I have actually got his heat lamp back on now that the summer is over. But he's doing really well, and his setup has changed quite a bit. Um, obviously, the anthurium that I added a while ago is growing quite well. And I've also put some leaf litter in. But the main change that you can probably tell is with the bromeliads. In the last reptile room tour, you might be able to remember that I did get a new jungle dawn, which is a plant growth lamp by Arcadia, um, and put it above these Neeragelia bromeliads, and they were turning pink. Well, they've continued turning pink, which is called blushing, if you don't know, and they are looking really, really good now, so I am really, really happy with that. And like Splat, these are doing really well. I would like to have more jungle dawns, but they are quite costly, so that's maybe something to get in the future. But that is about it for Splat, so let's move on to the next reptile. So the third reptile that we're going to be taking a look at today is Red the Corn Snake. Now Red, as you can probably tell, is wedged down here between the barrier and the front runner of his enclosure. And I kind of knew when I built this barrier to stop substrate going into the runners that he was going to sleep down there all the time. And needless to say, that's where he's at. But it's quite funny and I don't mind him doing it because it actually makes him easier to take out for handling. But his setup is what's really changed since last time because it's got a lot of leaf litter in it now. And it does look much better in my opinion if we stand back. You can kind of tell um, that it is looking really nice. And this is one of my favourite setups at the minute. Um, the plants are growing in well. Um, this one suffered a little bit of burning at the top. But other than that, it's growing well, so that doesn't really matter. And yeah, his setup's looking great, and Red's doing really well as well. But today is Red's feeding day, so let's see if he's wanting anything to eat.
So the last reptile in this video is going to be Char the Bearded Dragon who is perched high and dry up here at the cool end of his enclosure. Now I'll be showing you him in a bit more detail in a sec but what I really want to talk about initially is his enclosure. Now in a couple of videos ago um, I made a lot of changes to his setup as well as a few to reds. I'll leave a little link to that video in the top right hand corner of the screen you can go and watch it. But basically I added another substrate on top of the one I already had and I completely reorganised his hot zone to try and get him to bask more because he just was not basking at all. Just staying down at the cool end where he's at right now and his appetite was dropping and stuff so I wanted to try and change it and for about a week after I did that um, he, it was working really, really well. He stayed here for about a week. He was eating far more, even touching his veg, which he really never eats. So I thought that was problem solved. But then you can tell as well that since that video, I've moved the branches around. And that was just a change I made this morning because this little fellow is being a pest. So basically, I think what I'm trying to say is, if you have a bearded dragon, then could you give me some help here? Because I don't really know what's going on with Char and wanting to be at his cool end all the time. Because it just doesn't really make sense. I mean, he's got all of his branches over here now, so he should feel secure coming to the hot end. And I've been trying different things for ages. And then, like, obviously after I changed the setup, he went there, but then suddenly stopped again. And I just don't really know why he's doing it. But obviously, in terms of troubleshooting, you've got to know all of the information. So, um, the heater that you're looking at up here, that is a 50 watt halogen heat bulb. Um, and then behind it, he's got an Arcadia Deep Heat Projector. And obviously, the main sort of site for baskins here. And I've got um, an infrared temperature thingy here, so I'll take readings now and show you what they are, just to prove that things aren't too hot, or they shouldn't be. So, taking a reading at the very hottest point here, that is reading 48.3, which I'll show you just to prove it. Which is maybe a little bit hot, to be honest, but then as we go backwards to his sort of um, like platform area back here, um, I'll just read it out to you, you can believe me. It says um, 36.1, and then up here, that says 34.0. Um, up there, that says 36. So it's sort of like at the hottest point, it's maybe getting to like 105 Fahrenheit or something, and then at the coolest point, about 95 Fahrenheit at the hot zone. And then if we come and take a look at the cool zone where Char is right now, I'll tell you what temperature he is. So if we go in here and I just take a temperature recording of him, his temperature is 32.7. I'm not sure if you can see that. So we're sort of looking at a temperature gradient from about 48 degrees right underneath that halogen bulb and then sort of mid 30s for the main um, basking region and trailing down to about 25 at the coolest point. Anyway guys, that is about where I'm up to with Char being irritating, but before we finish off the reptile room tour, um, I do want to talk about things that are going to be coming to the reptile room in the near future. So like I said at the start of this video, I am planning on giving Speckles the Leopard Gecko a new enclosure, and that will be going out in the new reptile room, which we are in at the minute with Red the Corn Snake and Char the Bearded Dragon. Now these are each 5 foot by 2 foot by 2 foot enclosures, um, so on top we have 10 feet by 2 feet of sort of space and then going up towards the um, top of this building we have like 2 feet of space. So I could fit 2 more 5 by 2 by 2 foot enclosures in here but that really wouldn't be making the most of the space so what I'm planning on doing is at this end having Speckles new enclosure which will be about 3 feet by 2 feet by 2 feet going along and then I might have another 3 by 2 by 2 foot enclosure here and a 4 by 2 by 2 foot enclosure there to finish off and so we'll have 5 enclosures out here and then splat the crested gecko inside so 6 reptiles which is definitely a manageable amount for me but yeah that is basically this reptile room tour and I do hope that you've enjoyed it and we've obviously got lots of things to improve on, so Char and then Speckles.
But yeah, I do hope that you've enjoyed it and you also enjoyed the feeding aspect because I don't think I've ever done that in a reptile room tour. But anyway, I'm sort of rambling now, so I'm going to shut up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.